is currently, I can't even tell. It's 3.53 in the morning. I don't know if this is going to be my the beginning of my labor vlog, but since 2.20 in the morning, I've had like contractions and they started like every 10 minutes and now they're every like five to seven minutes. I just like, like in my gut, like I know this is it, but I also feel like I don't want to know. I just don't want to like go in unless it's it because it's way more complicated the second time around because you have a kid at home. So I would have to go, Steve and I would have to go drop my, drop, first of all, it's almost four o'clock in the morning. We would have to wake her up, drop her off at my sister's house and then go to the hospital. Um, but I'm on my birthing ball. I called the nurse. She said just to go in, just to be safe. I think I'm about to have another one, so that's awesome. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to do this naturally, so I kind of want to go in just to get the epidural. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm currently having one. So I should probably go in and not be in denial, but I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant. I'm like talking through this and it's really painful. I'm 38 weeks pregnant in three days and I actually got checked yesterday and I was three centimeters. So it's not like I'm, it wouldn't make sense if I'm going into labor, but I'm just like, it's so much harder this time. Cause it's not like Stephen and I can just like get up and go get checked. We have to like find care for Brinley. So I just don't want to like make everyone go through this, like wake my sister up, drop her off and wake Brinley up and tell my mom to come to the hospital if it's not the real thing. So, oh, it stopped. So I think I'm going to call my sister. I'm pretty sure this is labor. I just like am in denial. So I think I'm going to call my sister and let her know that I'm going to drop Brinley off. Steven, I woke him up. I waited an hour before I woke him up because obviously like if this isn't it, he has to work in the morning. Ooh, I'm getting nervous, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, I know you can't see me, but Brinley's in the back. I'm not gonna think about it. Because if I think about dropping her off, it's gonna break my heart into a million pieces. But it's currently 4.45 in the morning. Contractions are still happening. We're on our way to drop her off and this is literally so blurry. We're on our way to drop her off at my sister's right now. And um, I'm trying to have you see me. We're on our way to drop her off at my sister's and she's gonna stay with her while we're at the hospital if this is a real thing, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure it is because these contractions are painful like last time. But it's gonna be so sad. Dropping Brindley off, our little baby. Isn't our gonna be our only baby anymore? Probably. How do you feel, baby? I feel good. It's obviously different for you because I'm excited because like me and her are probably gonna go like closer. Oh, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. That was so sweet. Oh. It's gonna be different because our only worry was just her. Now we have like her and him. I know. It's not like we're, now we're both picking up like, okay, do you have birthday stuff? Like, yeah, do you have birthday stuff? Yeah. It's sad. This is like our last like car ride with her. It's so, so dramatic. But if you guys have multiples, you know what I mean. It's not just you three anymore. Oh, my baby. I love her so much. She's the sweetest thing. We were just doing this with her and now we're about to do it again. What is life and how does time go by so fast? But we're about to pull in. I just had a horrible car contraction. So I'm hoping we get to the hospital before I get another one, which is highly unlikely, but we'll see. Okay, I need to update everything because this is already going to suck. It's going to suck. Yes, it is. Where's the light? Why are you doing that? We're on our way to the hospital now. We just dropped Brinley off. It's 4.53. It is so sad saying goodbye to your baby. You feel like you're like, I don't know. Like it's like guilt. I keep having contractions. Oh, the car seat's empty. Just made it to the hospital. It is currently, I don't even know what time it is. What does it say? Oh, mask, Steven. It is 
Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call my mom now. I think she's here. I don't know where though, so... Let me see. Huh? That's fine. They're gonna give us some. No, there's one in my purse if you want that. Even you didn't give them the... Oh, my mom is here. Okay, bye. We'll see if this is a real thing. checked she was five centimeters and 80 percent of face so they admitted her um, she's we're in the labor and delivery room now uh, they just got her all hooked up got her lab the anesthesiologist is coming to come to the epidural um, not quick enough, not quick enough. Um, and so here she is say hi, hi. Um, this is so painful yeah so she's it's tell me what time it is it's 6.37, we got here probably around like 5.30. So it's been about an hour. Um, they're moving pretty quick, which is nice. And then once the, uh, she gets the epidural, hopefully it'll relax a little bit, but the attractions are about as equally as Brindley's later on. Like every two minutes. And they're about every two minutes, so. Hopefully the epidural comes in. Yeah, they said she's on, she's on the way, the epidural. Um, but it's obviously in the morning, so they don't have one on hand, so I think she's probably coming from home which that's the only tough thing, but it's 6.30, which is nice, so maybe he'll be come early. Then we can relax. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Uh, I'll try to keep you updated. Um, there's no one in the room, so I can have my mask down, but that's definitely been a, a lot different, having a mask and trying to like breathe through that and stuff. The photography and recording, which I don't think there was the last time either, we kind of got away with it, so I'll see what I can get from uh, the angles or something like that and Erica's mom is here. Um, they allowed us to have a primary person then one additional person, but I'll keep you updated as best as I can. Um, we haven't even seen the doctor yet, have we? The OB hasn't come in yet. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so it is 7.32 in the morning. I just got my epidural and Lord almighty, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Well, the lady actually took like an hour to get here to do my, um, epidural but i'm having a contraction right now but i just feel pressure like in my butt area but my mom's here again because she had to step out steven's here and now we're just waiting and this is so calming and chill and like relaxing so i don't know they're gonna come back and like i haven't been checked again so they're gonna come back in about like five to ten minutes and put my catheter in which i'm not looking forward to because i hated that next last time and also check me so um yeah this is blood by the way from my IV but I'm feeling good the contractions were so painful like super painful so I'm intrigued to see how far along I was before I got the epidural when they checked me but just waiting for baby and I don't know about you guys but I feel like this is way quicker because last time I gave I started um labor at like 2 a.m and I didn't have her till 7 p.m. And this time I started labor at 2 a.m. and it's 7 a.m. and I feel like. You also, didn't, well, you also didn't go in to the hospital so we didn't get here what, last time like 11? 11, oh yeah, 12. we didn't get here till like 11.30 last time. Yeah. Because I feel like, I don't know, this time I feel like, I don't know. Faster. Yeah, it was just yeah. faster. I mean, you checked in at five centimeters. Last time you checked in at six centimeters, so yeah but the contractions were worse earlier like last time like i was just like sleeping through them and i didn't really like have to breathe through them until i was on the way to like the ho the the hospital where this time like i was already like i don't know the contractions were worse earlier anyways we're excited and i cannot believe we're having another baby and i'm only 38 weeks and three days i feel happy so hopefully we can vlog the birth if not We'll show you him after. Bye. It is now 8 
a.m. and is it really? Oh yeah. wow! And they just broke my water. Um, I'm seven centimeters, so we'll see. They broke my water, so maybe like the baby will come now. But I'm thinking like within the like an hour or two. Really, I just have to get to ten. So. I don't know how long that'll take. Yeah, they said once they break the water, it should kind of progress things a little bit quicker. Um, the one nurse said hopefully by lunchtime we'll have a baby, but they said that last time when you came in, like, oh, you're going to progress so fast and you got stuck. Yeah, but I don't think I'll I don't get think stuck because my body's relaxed. Yeah. So yeah, they're seven centimeters. Um, they'll probably come back and check in an hour. So hopefully she can rest a little bit since you've been up since like probably one thirty two. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Just dry in a minute. Like smaller, isn't it weird? Yeah. Maybe because we're holding her, like she's much bigger now. I think I think you forget like how small they really were. Like this isn't real. When he came out, I was like, "There's no way this is human." <laughs> but it's not like he was abnormal. He was like seven pounds. Yeah, he's like average. Yeah, it, I think we just forget how small they are. Mm-hmm. No. Do you love him? Yeah. Yaya's holding her fifth grandchild with only two daughters, and she has this is her fifth grandchild. How do you feel? Blessed. No, oh, that was a good Blessed. answer. Alrighty, guys, so we are in the postpartum room. As you can see, Erica and. What do I tell the name? I was gonna say it, but I. Oh, do you wanna announce it now? Or should we do like. Or tomorrow? Probably tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's fine. When we like show. Yeah, so Erica's feeding baby boy, um, and we just got up into our postpartum room, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, Erica's mom had to go. We thought we could have one additional visitor per day, um, but I guess with everything with COVID and stuff like that, they changed it to only like the primary, so me would be here and they can't have any visitors, so. How do you feel now, mama? So, he's nursing oh. like a champ. Um, this yeah. is our second nursing session. He, it, he lasted, what, like, almost three hours we started at 157 yeah and you ended at like a um 1115 or you no, started no, no. you started, started at 157 at... and at 215 was supposed to be three hours no no no. you started at 1115 no, and I'm then i'm talking about now i started at oh 157 yeah 
and at 2.15, it's supposed to be three-hour mark. So he's, this is his second nursing session. He pretty much made it to the three-hour mark. He did one boob, he popped off. I burped him, now he's on the other boob. So, yeah, nursing is going up pretty well. And um, because Steven works for this hospital, he doesn't work at the hospital, but it's, like, for the corporation. How do you explain that? Anyways, because Steven works for the corporation of the hospital, they gave us a suite. So show them what it looks like over there. Oh, yeah. So really, it's just like, I think it's a little bigger room anyway, but you also have like this little extra like seating area. Um, I think at one point there used to be like a bed in here. So like I could have slept in here, but as you can see, it's like an extra like a little room that you could see. But right now, obviously. And there's more room behind. Obviously right now there's no one coming to see, in, see us because they can't have any visitors, so. But there's more room behind oh, yeah. this curtain. Yeah, yeah. That's where like the bathroom is. Yeah. So then, so yeah, there's the front door and then there's a the bathroom door. So, so thank you, Steven, for working so great. Yep, but other than that, so I think we're really gonna be chilling. Yeah, it's nice this time, this time because last time, a we Brindley, didn't have her till nighttime. Yeah, Brindley wasn't delivered till like seven at night, and then you were on magnesium, so we didn't even get to go to like the labor and delivery room until like postpartum unit. Oh, yeah, we couldn't go to the like this room until like. Let's the see. day after. But at least, I think it was almost like the, like, towards the end of the uh, end of the day. It was like afternoon the next day. Yeah. So this experience, Steven says it, he loves it so much more. Oh, yeah. And, like, even the labor, the labor and delivery was, I mean. It was so fast. Guys, so we fast. got here at 5. I don't know. To me, it's fast. I started having contractions at 2.20 p.m. A.M. Sorry. And we got to the hospital at, like, 5.30, and we had him at 10.20. So it's like by well we got to hospital and by the time like we had to go in triage and everything, so really like we were only like with the epidural or like just like waiting on him for like two to three hours and he's here. Yeah. Like I just feel like total from beginning to end, very beginning first contraction end to when he came out total it was only eight hours. Yeah. Which I feel like isn't bad. So. I feel like the standard is like a minimum of twelve hours yeah, to twenty four hours. Yeah. It just happened so fast. Like we got here in like at ten o'clock a.m. He was here so. I don't know. He's perfect, though. I miss my little scooter back at home. She is loving being with her cousins. Yeah, she is having a good time. So, but that was about the update now. I think from now, I mean, I don't. we may get released tomorrow early. We're going to play yeah, it by ear, obviously. He still has a few tests to do, yeah. so depending on when that ends, we probably could go home tomorrow night, if not It'll the be following It'll be probably morning. early Saturday. But I think we're leaning more towards tomorrow, especially since we can't have visitors and Brinley can't see him. Yeah. But all in all, it was definitely a lot smoother process, easier, better. It just went like so smooth. I mean, that's like the best way I can say it. And then here is dot dot dot. Is your name dot dot dot? I don't think you realize how tiny he is. Like he looks big on camera. Literally, his fa his whole face is like the palm of my hand, and my hands are tiny. <laughs> yeah, I made sure they were closed. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but he's bigger than Brinley. Like he's. Yeah, he's just one and a half inches longer, and then what Susan say like eight eight ounces bigger. Nine ounces bigger. Yeah, but he seems so tiny. But mm. we're just gonna enjoy the snuggles. Look at him. This is the arm right there. But so far, he's been super like quiet and like. Oh, as he's about to cry, I think he's just cold. Yeah, he's not a big fan of cold, and apparently he loves his food. But he's like, it's like a doll. He's like fake. He's so cute. Yeah, yes. <laughs> now um, we've had some time go by uh, we got some dinner uh, dinner here wasn't the best so then we actually got some uber eats or erica got mcdonald's um, baby boy got a baby boy got a bath um, and now he he is now we put him in his first outfit yeah he's in his first outfit but now he's all look at him snuggled up swaddled and ready to get some rest show him his little face and he just nursed for like two hours He's ready to go. So we have our sound machine. He's about to be sleeping. I think you're about to get all changed, get changed. Gun, done up, and then hopefully we'll try to get some rest and then go from there. Yep. 
birth vlog? Lifted, hey. I slept a birth vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys welcome our new baby into the family. We'll update you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.